What's up, everybody? Welcome to another ride and another review or two or three or four. I am just all pizzaed out, man. I've been eating pizza every day, it feels like, for the sake of this channel and for the sake of me. I can eat it every day. I love eating pizza every day. There was a time when I, that's all I did was eat pizza every day. When I was on a budget back in the day when I was a kid, get a slice of pizza for a couple bucks a day and dinner served. But you know what? Every so often, every week or so, I'm going to implement a new segment on this channel where I tour the city, tour the country for some pretty good food other than pizza so let's go guys let's go come along i hope you brought your appetite put your shoes on we're going to eat some pretty good food let's go I'm at Yona Schimmel, Old World Canisius since 1910, guys, 1910. Original spot, the original location. The scaffolding prevents me from taking good footage of the place, but that's a really, really old looking storefront. Let's go eat some Canisius. Kanish time, Kanish time. Kanish is a kind of New York staple, uh, Eastern European Jewish delicacy, street food. Uh, most of you know Kanishes from Nathan's and things like that. Look at this portly, scrumptious little morsel of goodness. Kanishes are made with a potato filling wrapped in a thin layer of dough. The dough is typically crispy on the outside and the filling, the potato filling is usually seasoned and is heavily uh, doused with caramelized onions, like a bialy. Mm. Pop this in your toaster oven with your eggs during breakfast. It's kind of like mashed potatoes, but seasoned. Nice wheat wrapping. I had to go there for the history, man. I just had to. I just had to. So where are we going next? just know a place has to be good when the garbage is piled high in front of the store shoulder length high <laughs> let's go eat some bagels baby love about Russian Daughters almost as much as its food, that wrapper, that beautiful wax paper. Ah, Christmas has come early for Antonio. That is one of the most sought after bagel sandwiches in the world, ladies and gentlemen. 
There were people in there from Greece. I was waiting online with people from Norway. Now, if you think you've had locks before, think again, guys. You haven't had locks until you had this. Until you had a lox sandwich. Lox and cream cheese bagel from Russian Daughters. Look at that, guys. An inch of fish. An inch of smoked fish. On a beautiful bagel. These bagels are... Uh, this, this is an everything bagel. Uh, they, they boil their bagels first. These are bagels that are boiled first. And then they bake them. And uh, they're absolutely phenomenal. A little spongy. That's what bagels are supposed to be like. They're not airy. They're spongy. And they go well with cream cheese and condiments and toppings and smoked fish. And it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of capers in the mix. Mm. Phenomenal. That salmon is so buttery. It just melts in your mouth along with that cream cheese. Bagel is nice and chewy with a nice outer shell. Holds everything together. And the capers give the sandwich a nice, uh, kind of like a salty, vinegary element to the, the, to the sandwich. It's incredible. What a recipe. Fish was smoked like this because they didn't have refrigerators back then. And uh, the only way to preserve the meat was to smoke it and, you know, salt it up and uh, cure it. And it lasted throughout winters, entire winters. So these places are over 100 years old. They existed before there were refrigerators. This was the only way to do it. This was the only way to get that meat preserved for long periods of time. Snack on some tacos. Love the way they wrap them. They've wrapped them in these little papers. Hey guys, here goes nothing. Los tacos, chicken tacos. A little bit of guacamole, grilled chicken, polo asado, some onion, cilantro. Look at all that meat. Look at all that meat, guys. Delicious charred grilled chicken. Look at that char on the chicken. Lots of onion, and the avocado is like a crema. It's not a chunky avocado, and it, what's good about that is, since it's creamy like that, it gets everywhere. It, it just smothers everything inside this wonderful taco. Loads of cilantro, one nice thin tortilla, not too thick. Wonderful taco, one of the best in the city. All right, guys, next stop.
some of the best clam strips I've ever had in my life. Got a nice batter, nice crispy batter, very tender, not dry at all. Absolutely delicious. They're very briny. You taste the seafood. Oh. Nice crisp on the outside. Can't get better than this, guys. The best way to eat clam strips, you dip it in some slaw, baby. Coleslaw on the strip. Pairs well with the coleslaw. Well, guys, that's about it for the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned some things. Uh, I will uh, remember to hit that like, hit that bell. And until next time, keep those bellies full, preferably with some good-ass food. This is Antonio, signing off.